What's going on guys? Renegade here. <clears throat> Part 2 of the wiring swap from the LH 2.2 ignition system to the LH 2.4 ignition system. Tell it's, uh, it's a little later than I expected and uh, intended and I'm already a bit greasy and grimy but I do a bunch of work so it's a bit tedious and difficult to do while holding a camera while trying to talk and do it all. For those of you that don't know this is my 1987 Volvo 245. Here is its engine. Seems to be missing something, isn't it? Yeah. It's missing the intake manifold. That's a big piece that should be right here that connects to the throttle body and all that stuff. Right now, it's all out. Now, the reason for that is that the LH 2.2 ignition system does not have a cold start injector while the LH 2.4 does. So I needed to change the fuel rail. Now because the cold start injector is mounted, you know what, let me just show you on that thing. Here we go. That is my old, this is the new. Before anyone gets pissed off, it's taped up, relax. If you look at this fuel rail, here's where the fuel goes in. It's got this extra fitting. It has this extra fitting right here, but this one does not. Means I could not use this. And this goes to a port right here. And this one does not have that. So I had to switch over the whole thing. Kind of a pain, but it is what it is. As I said, there's a couple differences in these two setups. And the cold start injector is one. Other things I need to change, I need to change out the IAC because it's a different part from the 2.2 to 2.4. 2.2 has a two wire connector, 2.4 has a three wire connector. I believe, I'll correct that if I'm wrong. So uh, yeah, things like that needed to be changed over and the knock sensor needs to be changed. And yes, because I don't have anywhere to work, my stuff is lying on the ground. It's not my fault, it's not my choice. Also, painting things. Why am I painting them? To make them look nicer, to tidy things up. Because that's what we do. So this right here is the knock sensor from the 2.2 ignition. It's a single wire connector. But the one from the 2.4 is a two wire. Ta-da! Now, <clears throat> that's a big nut right there. Don't even say it little one. Here's the cool thing. This big sensor actually connects to the block using the same port. Gotta love Volvo. It's all the same thing. So all I gotta do is actually take that out. Yes, I know what this tool is. No, I don't necessarily suggest using it, but it was what I could get my hands on easily. And I just needed to break free. This is also a good time while you're here, because you don't often see all this view, to go ahead and ch check things like gaskets, check for leaks, etc. Alright, I will check the torque and set that to torque in just a moment. The other thing I wanted to discuss was the IAC, which normally... Sorry, I'm working with a mess here. <gasps> Oh yeah, that feels good, guys. See, see that right there? This is what mechanics gotta deal with. Ah, that's why, if you know a mechanic and they apologize for having rough hands, that's why their hands are so rough. I'm dealing with a mess here, but normally the IAC lives right here. Well, right now, it's not there. In fact, a whole different bracket has to go in, but this one's coming out. So I'm gonna take that out, put the new one in, torque that bolt down, and we'll be ready to put the intake back in the car.
that, folks, is where the car has been for the last far too long. So, <clears throat> I hooked everything up. I went to go test it. Found out that the fuel pressure regulator that was on that fuel rail was shot. So I had to pull that one, put my old one back in. L little things. It was just the fuel pressure regulator. It wasn't like a fuel rail or anything like that. So not that big of a deal, but still. And yeah. Since then, I've been dealing with bad weather. Uh, we got some snow. Rain. Cold. And a bit of a, a personal life issue that just kept me from doing any work. To be honest with you. But I'm going to explain that in another video, I think. Yeah. But I wanted to update you guys as to where everything was. I said earlier on in the video, if you're going to be doing this swap, one, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, but... Keep in mind that you will need to change the IAC, the idle air control valve, and the hoses that go to it. You'll need to change the fuel rail because it's the 2.4 has the cold start injector. You'll need to change the knock sensor, and you'll need to take the whole harness. There's also a what they call a power stage on the very end of the harness. Um, I mean, very, very end. Trace it all the way back, and it's. It basically sits right behind the headlight. Um, for me, when I looked into the car to figure out where to mount it, there's actually already a spot that's kind of shaped like the power stage and then a couple of bolts that just have to take out. And it mounts right there. The hole's already there. Volvo is great in the fact that basically everything that is there is compatible across the span of time for at least a lot of things. Like I said, the knock sensor which goes into the block for the 2.2 is the exact same thread as the bolt that holds the knock sensor in in the 2.4. Pretty cool. They were smart. So unfortunately, that's where I have to leave this for now. Um, I'm going to be getting back to it. I'm hoping very, very soon, as soon as my personal stuff is done, and I will be able to update you guys more. But it had been a while, um, just because, like I said, there's been so much stuff, for lack of a PG-13 word, that I just I haven't been able to work. I haven't been able to work on the car, but... It's been like two weeks. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. So I figured a quick update and just kind of keep you guys posted. So until next time, guys, y'all have a good one. Keep rocking and rolling. I'm going to try my darndest to take care of business. I'll see you in the next one.